Hello, beautiful you. We are Lisa and Yogo, and we live on a camper van with our two girls, Rumi and Yuki, and our three boys, Otis, Mosi, and Sunny. We live in the south of Portugal, and the most important thing in our life is freedom, and we absolutely love living close to nature. We would like to take you with us whilst building a self-sustainable life with gardening, creating a food forest, wild picking and much more. Above all, we hope to inspire you with our biggest passion, rescuing animals. We believe that every creature deserves a chance in life and we cross paths to help each other. Please subscribe to our channel to follow our journey in happiness. This video is all about picking things and then eating them. You will find out if Diogo will eat the watermelon and we forage these beautiful mushrooms on the land. This is catching the watermelon with <laughs> Lisa. It, Episode mean. one. Catch it! <laughs> she got it! She got it! It's still jumping! <laughs> Still jumping. No, but we think um, to harvest it now because even it's not that big, it's already dying, so it's ready to harvest. It won't grow any bigger. I hope it will be good. Let's see. The moment of truth. Cutting it. Ooh, feels so good. <laughs> there we go. It looks good. Now let's see if it tastes good. Mmm. Tastes like watermelon. It's a bit soft, but the taste is really good. It has seeds. I'm really happy. Diogo actually doesn't like watermelon, but the challenge is to eat this one, a homegrown watermelon. <laughs> That's not for the tasting, babe. It's very nice. A tiny bite, maybe. Yeah, it's very nice, very sweet. Yeah, so have a tiny bite. It's nice and juicy. <laughs> You're not gonna keep tasting me. Yes, I am. Do it for the viewers, babe. And what do you think? actually better than I thought it would be. See? With all the things that I let you taste. <laughs> would you like another bite? <laughs> it is. Daddy puts this nice compost here. What do you do? You do a big wee in there? That's not nice. You don't care, do you, Otis? What about poor Daddy now? He has to go with his hands in there. That's not nice for him. We just did a lot of research about these bolete mushrooms. I just got two in my bag here. And um, yeah, they're edible. We just asked some people around here as well who eat them as well. So we are confident <laughs> to get them and eat them. I can see another one right over there. So I'm going to pick that. Oh, and I want one over there as well. So I'm going to pick those ones and make a nice meal out of them. I think this is enough for now. Let's go and prepare them. So I already cut these in half about 20 minutes ago. And it's really good because it's still very nice and white and yellow here. That means that it's not poisonous because the poisonous one can turn blue and also go red over here. I took the spores off, as you can see, like the spongy bit. Maybe I can show you 
on another one. Maybe this one is a bit older, but let's see. There you go. Right, this one is a bit older, so I'm not sure if it's still edible. But you can see the spongy bit here now. Right here. And you can take this off like this. Uh, you can eat the spores. Some people say it's not that tasty. We never tried it before, so we have to go and see. But if now this turns red, there comes a red line here, or here basically, then it can also be toxic. But yeah, everybody was saying this is the right one, and we looked it up a thousand times on the internet, so this seems to be the right one. Oh, good. And if it's very toxic, I don't think you can die from it as well. It will just be very, very unpleasant. But um, no, I'm sure that this is the right one. As this one is a bit older, I'm going to take this all off. And oh, there was a stone or something. And maybe still use the good parts over here. I think this is still nice and edible. This is a nice one, definitely a good one to eat. can show you again, let's take this off. It feels very nice. This is where it keeps the spores in. I made sure to really do this before I picked them and also moved the bag around so the spores fell all into nature to give back and to grow new ones. So yeah, I think this is really good. For us, learning about mushrooms, identifying them, searching for them, and then finding edible ones and then preparing them is like so satisfying. It's like our favorite thing now. If you would also like to forage for mushrooms, then always make sure that you've got the right ones. You cannot afford making a mistake when it comes to mushrooms. But when you do get the right ones, you are a very, very lucky person. So this is the end result. I'm going to try and find Diogo to poison him. <laughs> no, I'm sure that we can eat them and I already ate some as well. So I can't act surprised anymore when I let him taste it. <laughs> Let's go and find him. There's Rumi and Mosey. Hi babies. You know where's daddy? Oh, there he is. Look, babe. I've got you something. Hey, Mose. What do you think it is? Yes. It looks really good, no? Let's see if he dare, dares to eat it. He's doing the brambles here. A bit of wind. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the sound. Look, babe. Do you dare to have some? Show me then. Oh, you're eating it like an animal. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I like the, I like the texture. It is like a, a peppery flavor. Well, that's because I put pepper on it. <laughs> mm. It's quite good, no? I already tasted it as well. Just so... I know that you're not going to drop that. <laughs> okay, if it's my time, it's my time. No, but it's good. I'll definitely put some pasta in it now. Yeah, with pasta, that will be nice. That's true. That will be our next recipe. But I just wanted to try them like this, as in on its own. Okay. So, thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so very much for this. It was a nice surprise. You're welcome. Very good. We want to thank you for watching this video. We really hope you liked it. And if you did, then please like and subscribe because that really helps us. Next week, we will do a few more things on the yard and we'll take you with us. See you then.